Bag Lady. Hey, we are back. Erica by two in the house. Here we get her on the show sometime in 2012. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us. Appreciate all of y'all on the phones, everybody in the chat rooms. Uh, we're going to be up with our next guest in just a second. Actually, yeah, we go ahead and do that. I'm sorry, you know, I have very bad help. Right? If anybody's looking for a job, give me a buzz. Hey, my next guest is a singer, songwriter, and poet. But it is in her writing ability that we're going to focus on today. Her novel, The Velvet Whisper, has pleased readers nationwide. Please give it up to the dynamic. This is Dawn Nicole in the house. <laughs> what up, Dawn? Hey, what's going on? Well, you know, I'm, I'm in here firing people, just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got a. Hey, by the way, um, uh, to to one of my good friends, Miss Linda Malloy Glover. Uh, Miss mm-hmm. Glover, I'm I'm gonna need you to hit the number one button to. Uh, you're saying some great things, but you got to let the world know. Hit the button and tell us what you think, what you really think. Anyway, I digress. Hey, welcome to the show, Dawn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thanks and for inviting we could, me. We, oh, always. You know, we could we could have you on the show for hours talking about your journey, um, but welcome. We, well, as, we, as we said, we're just going to focus today on your writing. Now we'll get back. We'll get you back on here to talk about your musical uh, acumen and your powerful voice and your okay. writing ability and that help as well. We'll do that at a later time. But I want to know uh, why do why do they call you coffee? <laughs> or why did they call me coffee? Um, oh, very inter- it's past tense. Yes, ma'am. Why did yes. they call you coffee? It's- yeah, it's past tense, and I'm I'm definitely trying to make a distinguishing um, statement between the two now. Um, coffee came up in an age where I was diehard on the spoken word poetry scene. Um, back in the day, back in 1998, um, and a little bit beforehand in Jacksonville, Florida, and I did a piece one night, my first piece that I did on a Thursday night at Nina's Poetry Lounge at the time was called Coffee Bean Queens. And I did this piece, and I guess people loved it, and um, it made a definite impact. And afterwards, it would become a highly requested piece for me to do. And so as a result, people would say, hey, you're the girl that did Coffee Bean Queens. And then after a while, it was, hey, Coffee Bean, what's up? So I actually, (laughs) yeah, it's interesting how people give you names. So I actually went by Coffee Bean for a very long time, and people would always say, that's cute, but you should drop the bean. <laughs> and then when I moved to Atlanta, yeah, so when I moved to Atlanta in 2003, I only went by coffee for a number of years, coffee with a K. And um, then after a while, I, I got older, grew up, hit 30, and was like, you know what? Um, actually, I was born as Dawn Nicole, and I don't want there to be any gaps, any division between that connection with me and my audience. It's time to, to be totally truthful with no walls up, giving you all me from me to you musically and in every other aspect. So I dropped coffee and started using Dawn Nicole, which is my actual name. So Cool. See, we get, we get the nitty-gritty here on the conversation <laughs> always. I appreciate you breaking that down to us. And uh, so coffee is gone, y'all. Sorry about that. Uh, J. Yeah, Bill Bangums, we got him on the phone. Yeah. They, you, yeah. Had, you had a great run. Yeah, I used to live in Jacksonville. We have people from Jayville on the phone, like Florida. Oh, we we got the Jayville lines lit up for some reason. Oh, yeah, I guess what's they didn't want to be on. What? Okay, what's up? All right. <laughs> Nine oh four in the house. All right, all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I digress. Where am I? Okay, hey, did you always see yourself writing this particular novel? Yes, definitely. Um, Yep. I'm I'm going I'm trying to be disciplined in my answers, so I'll keep it brief. <laughs> so the answer is yes, I did. Unless you want me to go into detail with why. So. No, this is no place for brevity. You can talk as much as you want here <laughs> on the conversation. Okay. So to answer that question, uh yes, and I saw myself writing it in 1997 is where I started. So I'm living proof that uh 
if you pick it up and put it down and pick it up and put it down, keep on, don't give up. This took me a little over 10 years to finally have in my hand and make this dream a reality. So if that's the case for me, I know you guys can do it out there. So don't give up. That's what's up. You heard it live. Don Nicole right. used to be coffee. No more coffee <laughs> with a K. Okay. Hey, uh, so which affects, which affects the other the most? Being a writer in the music genre or world or being this fiction writer, uh, who influences the other? Wow, that is a great question. Um, actually, you know what? They they both spin off of each other because I am this ever growing beaming ball of light that has all these. I can't be put in a box, honestly. And I'm so I'm probably one of the most crazy unique people you ever want to meet. I'm so left brain, right brain. It's ridiculous. And what that really means is that. I'm songwriting, I'm singing, I'm writing a poem at the same time, I'm jotting down ideas for my next fiction novel or nonfiction novel. I'm thinking of a photo book. I love photography, so I'll go downtown and just take pictures on a Sunday afternoon and then tie poetic captions to them. So what I'm trying to tell you is I'm so all of the above, right, that everything spins off of each other. And to know me as a friend, the one thing that people would say about me is, you are the most unique, crazy person I've ever met. Like, you can't be described in a one line. You're so all over the place. And it's true. So it's hard to say that the the book writing spins off, the songwriting, they kind of feed off of each other, and I'm just a mesh, like a collage of artistic, uh, just, just, you know, waiting to be released. 